Yer, yer. LFG fishing. Back at y'all with another banging video, man. Y'all check this out. So we got plans this morning going red snapper fishing, 12 hour trip. And y'all know how we did last time on the most recent videos we did. Uh, we did amazing on those, man. They put us right on them. And that's the plan for this morning, man, to get out there and uh, go crazy on it. Y'all know what's going on. So I'm gonna pop a little gas right now. I actually went way higher than I expected. <laughs> I probably put 35 in there real quick. Probably got about an hour drive right now from where we at. Damn, I'm already full. That'll work. 10 gallons. Do it. So we got about an hour drive right now. We got breakfast already. Everything's already loaded up. We got uh, got sandwiches and everything. I made them this morning before I took off. We got the camera gear, GoPro, everything. And just, you know, just going down to check with everything we need. Got a cooler. Um, so, Food is gonna be good all day. It's gonna be a hot day. Expect it to be real high on wind, so hopefully we don't get seasick. Got bets going on, so. Uh, yeah, man, we about to just drive out there. And hope you guys enjoy this lovely trip that I definitely enjoy. And if you're new to the YouTube channel, man, and you're watching this, make sure you smash that like down there. Comment, let me know how y'all feel about it, man. Cause I, I, I don't know, do y'all want me to just get straight to the fishing? Whether y'all enjoy these full vlogs of how I actually get started, you know, with the pumping gas and get started with my day or whatnot fishing. So y'all let me know. I've been dropping 40 minutes, 40 minute plus to hour vlog for the whole, you know, whole day of me fishing. Uh, y'all just let me know which one of y'all prefer. Should I do two different ones, the full vlog, and then one that's just straight fishing? Or y'all just let me know what y'all want, man. Appreciate y'all. Let me know. All right, boys. Made it into the spot, man. It's about 6.42. Got another 30 minutes, we about to head out in a minute. So hopefully, we'll get on some good fish this morning, man. Didn't get to restring the pole up last night, but hey, we'll see how it go. Two years of old string, we'll see how it go, boys. Fish on. Those boxes behind you. 
There's a bunch of small ones here. So gotta take us to them. We'll get on them big, big ones. Yeah, I just feel 
Roma Got rid of the bag up Lost beat These suppliers? Yeah. I'll try to get them off my belt real quick. Shit. Really though, we're gonna go to a new spot. You eat all the bait. Yeah, I see it. Good. I got that mono on the tip. That's thick. It don't really be easy for me to come off that. This way. Too small, ain't he? Yeah. Grab that motherfucker by the wing. Yep, yeah, G.
Making these catch these TikTok fish right here. <laughs> How y'all do? Oh yeah. These little ones, man. Yeah, these little ones. Yeah, these little ones. Let's save it with the big ones, man. Like I know, I thought it was gonna be big like his. Like, ah, where my big one at? It's always like that. Like the last two times I done been, man, we everybody walking out with big, big ones. I know I had two last time. That's the smallest one. I'm like, uh, my two thousand off set up. Oh, hell yeah, way better. What, 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 do you, what do you do? How do you edit that stuff after you buy one? I wasn't even one for like my office or whatever, but it's a new video too. All right, y'all. We got four of them. Filet, let's say filet, filet up and ready to go, man. I'm going to put in the cooler. Hey, we had some eye size, man. It really was small ones, but it was okay. It's okay. We still going definitely do a catch and cook we're gonna go home and my hands smell like fish we're gonna do a catch and cook today we're gonna go home go by the grocery store and get some stuff to uh, bake some red snapper and cook it in the oven and we're gonna see how it go man hope y'all enjoy that i hope i enjoy it where my keys at 
Yer, yer, what's going on, boys? Let's get it. Next day, man, we at the crib, and it's about that time to get some of this red snapper cooked up, man. I got it situated in a bowl right now, as y'all can see. It's in the bowl, but I'm not going to cook it all the night. We're going to uh, probably take out a few fillets, get them washed up, like this right here. A few of the fillets, get them washed up, cleaned up. We'll probably just put them in the oven, grill them, and get them seasoned up real quick. We'll cook up some stuff for me, the old lady and the brother. Tasty, got some rice and stuff ready. And, um, yeah, we're going to get on that, man. I'm, I, got, I think I got too many, man. So I'm going to take out probably a few of the big slabs and just cook a few tonight. And then we'll fry some probably in another video some other day. But right now, we're going to uh, prep probably how many we got. So, yeah, we'll do three slabs right now. So I got three slabs on my cutting board. We'll do probably three slabs. I think that should be enough. We'll put the rest in the freezer, save it for another day. Well, let's go ahead and get that done, man. We'll get it seasoned up, put it in the grill. We got it preheating right now on 350, and we're gonna put it up for a few minutes. And once that's done, then we'll go ahead and do a taste test and see how it tastes. So, y'all, yeah, doing the catch and cook, man, what I like to do is this is what the avocado oil that I'm gonna be using. We're gonna use avocado oil, we're gonna put it on the fish, we're gonna, we're gonna rub a little bit in, and then we'll start to. Put all the other seasons and everything on it. Put a little bit right there on that fish. A little dip. A little bit on that. A little bit on that. Rub it in. Same thing with this one. And we'll turn it over. Do the same thing on the other side. A little avocado oil. Avocado oil. Rub it in. One thing about these red snappers, man, um, I guess the guys get the cutting and filleting, the ones that did it, man. And you can feel bones, a little bones left up in here, which I'm pretty sure that's probably normal. But, and you're doing fillets, you can't get them all. But, hey, it happens. Uh, let me get this light situated real quick. All right, y'all. Now that we got the fish, what we want to do is just grab onions, just put it on there like that. Bell pepper. I like to smash them down in there, man. That's perfect right there. It's a nice little look. Let's go ahead and get this slid in the oven, man. We got 350, it's preheated already. Those sliders in the oven. I thought it'd be good, it'd be good. That's what we got though. The oil would be good. So we'll sit in the oven a few minutes until start changing the color, man. We'll come back and take a test, do a test. Test, taste, taste, test. It's been a while since I had snapper. Bacon is the best I done had so far. I fry fish, regular fish, but when it comes to this red snapper, man, you gotta put it on the grill. So the reason why I'm saving the other um, red snapper for another day is because tomorrow I might go ahead and pull the grill out and actually grill the bacon, grill the uh, snapper on my pit. But um, we're gonna do the oven for the night since it's running pretty late so and we got Kennedy back here in the back Damn. you want to try some fish you ain't baked fish before so she ain't never had baked fish so this will be first for her she always liked the fried fish the black drum we always get so she loved it so hopefully she liked the red snapper we'll see it red snapper turned out pretty good man juice is starting to come out of it we almost done we got a few more minutes on it probably about 14 more minutes we're gonna cook up some broccoli in this pot. We got some cream sauce being made in that one. And we got some corn back there, so. Y'all see what's going on. Juice is coming out, we're gonna let it 
get a little brown, a little golden look on it, and we're gonna take it out and test it, man. Got the white meat. See it's steaming good. Left it in there a little so we can get a little brown around the edges to the juice start drying, but still got the onions on there. White meat still good, it's not dry, it's moist. And we still got a little juices on the plate, well on the pan. Y'all yeah, see back there, I had to scrape some of the onions back a little bit, but that's the outcome, man. About to put this on. Got a little cream sauce I made. All right, y'all, this is the outcome right here, man. That's what it turned out to be. Got some rice right here. Got some steamed broccoli on this side. And we got a good old roll, wine roll, some corn. Got to have that with the rice. And then we got the snapper right here which is, uh, man, it's ready to eat with the cream sauce on the top. Y'all see the cream sauce? Uh, everything turned out pretty good, man. So let's try it to us, man. Put the season on it. Let's see what we got. Let's see if it's uh, busting. Break off pretty good. Got the cream sauce on it. Let's see what it tastes like. Busting. I already know it. Y'all see it? Jeez. Jeez. Once again, that, that snapper got to taste like chicken, man. I ain't gonna lie. Like a good chicken strip. That's pretty good. And some more red snapper with the cream sauce, boys. This turned out pretty good, man. Turned out pretty good. Gotta watch out for them bones though. Oh. Good protein. Good protein. Oh yeah. So great, we gotta grab some lemonade with it, man. I know, like a good glass of lemonade, boys. Now every year, man, we we only get this snapper once a year, man. So good lemonade, good rice. That red snapper just falling right off, man. Breaking the piece, good white meat. Oh yeah. Real simple boys. It's easy to do. Three little seasons I use, which I do it on most of my fish. Um, the onions did knock out the fish taste like I said, what they normally usually have. Um, and everything else man, seasoning tastes real good. Three seasons I use with the onions and also that lime, I taste that lime on there. And well, that's one thing I usually do uh, once I take it out of the oven and squirt some more lime on there. And I definitely taste the lime in there too. Avocado oil is going to hold the season in place so it don't just, you know, roll off or whatnot. Look at that bone right there. I got to get that out of the way for choke on it. That turned out pretty good, man. And she just, anytime I cook fish, she always come get some. But this time we baking, so it ain't frying this time. So we're gonna see if she like baked fish. That's the last bit of it, boys. Once again, if y'all like these videos, make sure you drop down in the comment, man. We're gonna do, we're gonna start doing the 30 to 40 minute vlogs. Catch and cook, boys. Season them up. I right, get her. <laughs> Climb on the thing. You gotta climb up so they can see you. They can see you. Don't fall. They can see you now. And subscribe. And subscribe, like she said, man. Yeah, catch a cook, boys. And that's how it is, man. So hope y'all enjoyed it. The fish is definitely amazing. About to finish this up. Probably about to grab some more. Uh, split the other half, my old lady. You know what I mean?
Everybody in the house like the snapper. Everybody in the house like the drum. Like Candy said, subscribe if you're new to the channel. If you enjoyed this video, we definitely gonna be doing weekly updates, weekly uploads, and I like doing this, man. So, peace out, man. Y'all wanna become a bigger supporter, man? We got merch inside the uh, link in the bio. Also, if you wanna join the Patreon or the Discord, to where y'all can be, you know, get some of the cut scenes, all the uncut uh, videos that we upload. There'll be uncut videos. Also, you have a chance to come fish with me one day. And, uh, you know, just come out there and be a part of the, the vlogs that we're doing, man. Maybe I can pull up and, you know, we can come eat, eat some, cook, cook some fish and eat it together on the video. You know what I mean? Just stuff like that, man. So, peace out, man. Hope y'all enjoyed it.